Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Max Warframe. So with update 18.5 having been deployed on Friday, we've got a whole bunch of new weapons to play with. Today we're going to be taking a look at the newest primary, another addition to the bow category, the Mutilist Cernos. Now with the bow class weapons getting larger and larger, what does the Mutilist Cernos bring to the table that we don't already have covered by the other bows? Well, with a base damage of 225, with the majority coming in the form of impact with 202.5, and then 11.25 as both puncture and slash, it actually puts it in the top three of the bows on pure damage alone. Now, this is where it gets a little bit strange though. Unlike most of the other bows, it comes with a base critical chance of just 15% with a two times multiplier, meaning this is not, it's very much not a critical base bow. It does, however, come with a huge 45% base status chance, meaning that the Mutalist Cernos has more in common with the DiQ than the rest of the crit-based bows. Now in addition to that, it also comes with an innate Toxin Cloud, which works a bit like a mini Torrid. Um, it will fire sort of from the middle of nowhere, kind of above your head to be honest, and will follow roughly the trajectory of your previous shot, causing a Toxin Cloud to be deployed when the arrow makes contact with an enemy, um, or with the terrain. Um, if you fire it at the terrain, it will deploy a gas cloud there. Now the Toxin Cloud, um, it's only able to be increased, well the damage is only able to be increased with things like white damage mods, like Serration, um, Heavy Caliber, Bane mods, as well as the Toxin Elementals. Although not if the Toxin is combined into another element. The Cloud also has a chance to proc the status combo on the weapon, so say for example you've got Radiation and Viral on there, it's got a chance to proc those on enemies in the gas cloud. Now the Mutualist Sonos does come with some fairly notable downsides, primarily is the damage of the Toxin Cloud, it's absolutely pathetic. Um, unmodded it does one single solitary point of damage per tick, even when modded for 100% damage, which includes Max Heavy Calibre, which kind of ruins the entire bow. Um, it only does between 24 and 48 per tick which might be fine for low level content, but try using it even for sorties, and you'll find that it's the equivalent of running up to a bombard and trying to tickle him to death. The lack of crit also means that while it has one of the higher base damages for the bows, it's gonna fall off before the others in terms of actual bow damage. Um, the fire rate of just one round per second, it's also pretty typical of bows, does require a fire rate mod to be put on to make it less, um, less painful to use, especially in close range, meaning that's another required mod. Um, and talking about close range, the gas clouds are so thick and dependent on energy color, meaning that it's entirely possible to make it completely impossible to see through an area. And to be honest, making it even impossible to see enemies inside or behind the cloud. Okay, so let's move on to starting to mod the Mutilus Sonos. Now, honestly, I don't remember which polarities it had on here as standard. However, I added five former. So we're going to end up with six polarities, which is four Vs and two dashes. Now, we've got two very different builds for this um, for this weapon. We've got this build, which is very much focused on the gas cloud. And we've got one that's going to be sort of, um, sort of focused on both, but without hurting the bow too much. And this first one we're going to go very much for um, maximum white damage with a bit of the toxin damage in there as well. So we're going to go serration and split chamber for, you know, it's a standard mods, damage and uh, multi-shot. We've got heavy caliber on here which is going to really hurt the bow, but it's going to be really, really good for the damage of the gas cloud. We've got file acceleration on here which is going to help the charge speed of the bow. And then we've got our elementals. So we're going to go with two dual stats, brings it up to 100% elemental, uh, sorry, 100% status, and we've got one 90% uh, on here. So for both the corpus and the grenier, we're going to go radiation and uh, radiation and toxin. We're going to go high voltage and thermite rounds, and we're going to go with infected clip for the toxin. Now, because the infected clip isn't part of any of the combos, it's going to buff the damage of the gas cloud, um, and also because we only need two dual stats to get the 100%. I decided to take the hit on these two elementals rather than taking the hit on the uh, the infected clip, which actually makes the um, the gas cloud that bit stronger because obviously we have the extra elemental damage. And then for Grenier, we're going to go Prime Bane of Grenier. For Corpus, we'll go uh, Prime Bane of Corpus. I haven't even got this maxed yet, but I will do soon. Um, 
For the uh, infested, we'll go corrosive and heat. And obviously, non-corrosive projection void is corrosive and heat as well. Um, the um, radiation viral, sorry, the radiation and toxin build also does work very nicely in the in the void um, for corrosive projection builds, and can really help with that gas cloud damage. Obviously, because it's a prime, uh, you know, the prime mods aren't going to work. You can sort of switch things around a little bit. Um, so if you're going for corrosive and heat. Then you can just switch things around that little bit and then get the extra, you know, you've got the corrosive and the heat damage there while still keeping the 100% status. Now the second build, Serration Split Chamber, we got this time, we got Speed Trigger, and then we're going to go with two 90% Elementals, two Dual Stats, and the Prime Bane mod. Um, and obviously it's going to be the same elements as the, as, as the first one. Um, for the final mod obviously the prime bane mod isn't going to work in the void however it's formed in such a way that i mean if you wanted to you could just whack on extra extra mods there crash course in there wouldn't be too bad um i mean or you could just go with uh, the one thing i've been using quite a bit on bows recently um especially on this was i used terminal velocity because it did seem to speed up the gas cloud projectile as well as making it easier to hit the headshots with the bow. It's very much sort of personal preference. I mean, Thunderbolt can be a fun mod as well. Um, there's a whole bunch of different things. Um, Shred, if you want to fire that a bit faster. The punch through on the Mutual Asanos isn't that great, so actually Shred isn't a, isn't a particularly bad option. But obviously, as I say, the, the Bane mods don't really work in the Void, so you really have to work around that when you're going to go with a Void build. So do I think it's worth the time and effort to max it? And you know what? This time, I'm going to say no. I don't think it's worth it. This weapon tries to bring together two very good weapon classes, the bows and the torrid, and ends up not doing either particularly well. To be honest, it performs fairly well, actually, as a bow. Um, it can handle things like Tower 4 Exterminate just fine, but due to the lack of crit, it's going to fall off way earlier than even the standard Cernos it, that it even requires to build the Mutalist. Um, as a mini torrid, it's woefully inadequate. You may as well forget the cloud exists, to be honest, because it falls off quicker than anything I've seen. The toxin damage and the toxin proc, um, it's something that's really just a sideshow. It's more about the chance for the cloud to spread the other status procs than actually killing anything with the cloud. Now, I know people are going to say, well, just stack gas clouds on top of each other to increase the dots. Um, but for the level where this is genuinely a reasonable idea... You may as well just be using those arrows to kill the units directly. It's going to be much more effective. Not to mention a completely object, and they're just shooting the ground nearby, stacking, you know, stacking the clouds. It just defeats the object of this being a bow in the first place. I honestly started with this weapon, um, and I thought it was fun. I thought it was kind of amusing and kind of different. But really, with the combination of the stupidly thick gas clouds. And then the pitiful damage from that cloud, I really started to dislike it. Usually, I try and take a weapon on its own merit. Um, and just sort of see how good it is on its own. But when they're trying to, you know, combine two different weapon types, I think it's fair to combine it, uh, sorry, to compare it to its respective counterpart. As a bow, to be honest, it, it underperforms even compared to the standard Cernos. Um, due to the lack of crit. And that standard Cernos is required to build the Mutalist in the first place. Um, and the Gas Cloud, compared to the Torrid, well, that's not even a contest. The Torrid does what the Mutalist Gas Cloud does, except it does it insanely well, and is extremely effective at killing using that cloud, let alone the actual projectile. I played a fair bit with the Mutalist Cernos already, tried to get used to its quirkiness, the way it plays, but I spent the entire time thinking it would be better. I, I, I just would be better off using something that does each of these jobs and just does it better. I love bows. Um, so I, if you want a bow, just use a bow. And although I haven't used it in quite a while, I like the Torrid as well. But to be honest, with the Mutalist Cernos, I found the clouds just so annoying due to how thick they were. Especially when you try and stack them. Plus how clunky it felt to try and accurately guess the gas clouds into the right place in the first place. 
I just disliked it very much, to the extent where I carried on playing with the dual toxicist, carried on playing with the lesion, but I switched out the mutilus cernos to what does the same job as this, but better, the torrid. So, to be honest, it's okay damage for the bow, pitiful gas cloud damage. The mutilus cernos is going to be a weapon that some, some people are going to like. Personally, I hated it. In this case, if you want a bow, get a bow. Or, my recommendation, if you want something that will deploy gas clouds at a distance, get the Torrid. You'll not only find that more effective, easier to see, easier to use, and it's way more fun. As always guys, many thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next episode.